There are a lot of people booing you. I wasn't one of them. No, I saw you. Be cool, Michael. I saw this guy kill a bunch of people. Good work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pete's fantastic. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for my favorite 20 minutes of the week. Sometimes 40, sometimes 60. It's been a lot recently. Uh, season 7, episode 3 of The Office. Don't forget to press the like button for the algorithm and subscribe. Let's get to it. His skin was pale and his eye was odd. Oh my god. She prays her white, sweetie. Oh. <laughs> Toy Talks. Awesome. The demon barber of Fleet Street. <laughs> Second, Michael loved it. I auditioned for this. When did the cast list go up? Like a month ago. Oh, really? Yeah. They didn't call me. Who am I playing? <laughs> oh, 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 which is huge because my plan is to make Aaron fall back in love with me tonight. Women cannot resist a man singing show tunes. It's so powerful, even a lot of men can't resist a man singing show tunes. <laughs> That's fantastic. You're all coming to my show tonight, right? Andy, what time does it start? 8 p.m. sharp. How long is it? Hour 45. No, I can't make it. Jesus. So much to me if you came to my show tonight. I can't, Andy. It's too hard. That, <laughs> that night, I'm going to see a friend in a play called Sweeney Todd. Aww. You're that friend. I'm going to see your play. Aww. <laughs> nice. That's sweet. You know what? Let's just knock this out right now. This robe. I'm using that from now on. This robe. Should he develop feelings for me? Well, that would be permissible under item 7C, clause 2. So I would not object. A strange foot bath, Angela. Even after all she's done and who she is. Because I am being the bigger man and balloons are bigger than flowers. It's nice, like up. Yes. Excuse me, are you the guy that did an entire Law & Order episode for his audition? I love that. Oh, Michael. Oh, I made it. Thank you so much. You should actually thank Erin. She's the one who agreed to babysit. Oh, She's babysitting? I really want... This is, like, a huge opportunity for her. All right. Oh, I'm down now. Apparently the director discovered I'm doing karaoke. It's his first play. He didn't even audition. Are you kidding me? Shit. He kept the shop in London town. Excuse me, I think you may be in the wrong scene. I love that. My sweet gotcha. The demon barber of Fleet Street. play to you. Now his name is Andy. He's a terrible salesman. I am in the dark beside <laughs> you. He's a fun performer, though. Why are you dressed like a seed catalog model? These are just my dirty old gardening clothes. They were all that I had in my car. So this is kind of sad. You might as well. Don't you love the weather? Oh, Andy. Let's see if I got any last minute break of legs or I still love you type texts. Oh, don't do this to me. Unfortunately, in this ham-fisted production of Sweeney Todd, the real terror comes from the vocal performances. New paragraph. Mr. Todd, Mr. Todd, I found... So it's the most random thing ever. And I, buy I found completely. Joanna. That monster of a judge has locked her away. Oh my God, are you fucking serious? Locked her away. There's a little bird fluttering around. Absolutely. You hope it ceases chirping. <laughs> <laughs> How is that funny? <laughs> to call someone, please. <laughs> what is the news of my darling daughter Joanna? Jesus, you know, it's just like you, Sweeney Todd. See, it all connects. Not that I know you're a murderer. My character doesn't know that. <laughs> but, I'm but you're a barber, so that's legit. So there's Jesus that. Jesus Christ. But how Where is, is West? Joanne? Makers of London go to obtain their human hair. So you think... So you think... <laughs> oh. 
Why not? <laughs> A fucking baby? Oh my god, go! Oh my Is god. it? Oh my god, what are we doing? That's really irresponsible of Aaron. It is. She's a terrible babysitter. <laughs> she certainly fucking is. How happy is. Aww. The car seat was to take her to the hospital or... Oh, why would I take her to the hospital? It doesn't matter. Why don't I just take her home and let you guys finish and then you just I stay out of the gonna no. fucking happen. We're good, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's a fucking monster. Where's my car? Is that blowing in the wind? Oh my god. Come on. Can't knock it, Dwight. There are a lot of people booing you. I wasn't one of them. No, I saw you. Be cool, Michael. I saw this guy kill a bunch of people. Good work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He's fantastic. Fucking idiots. Right. I would not trust her for fucking razor. I don't care if it's plastic or not. Oh, was that in the way? Get rid of it. Oh. Good night, Dwight. Well played. Go ahead, Angela. Here. This is awesome. Oh. God damn it. Who knew that oh. was coming? Oh. Hi, Gabe. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Ugh. It's like amateur hour. Well, it was an amateur production, technically. Oscar, enough with the sass, please. God, <laughs> what's wrong with sass? Interesting choice of words. I booed someone tonight. I have no filter. And if I <laughs> thought you were terrible, I would have booed. And if I thought you had done a better job, I would be saying nicer things right now. <laughs> well, that was amazing. Awesome. No better, no worse. It's goddamn Thank beautiful. You, that and come on. Okay. Yeah. Not try to stop be there. Not try to say goodbye. <laughs> I'm just a cleaning lady. Ah, oh, dead body. He wrapped his belt around his own neck. It looks like a classic case of autoerotic asphyxiation. Yeah, it looks like everybody's tightening their belts in this economy. Bum bum dum 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 dum. <laughs> the pithy line before the signature hits. He wasn't a victim, if you know what I'm talking about. Thank you. No, that is just part. I'm just getting into the first act. All right, so that was episode three of season seven of The Office. Where to begin? Great episode, I thought. I'm going great, right after bad. Really fun. So ridiculous. And I gotta say, I don't remember how I reacted to the majority. You know what? I do. It's always fun to get out of the office. I wouldn't want it to happen all the time, otherwise it kind of ruins the point. But it's nice to have an episode where it's distinctly set outside of the office. The last one I remember is uh, the pregnancy episode with Pam and Jim. This was not quite that, but it was a really good episode. Um, Andy, for all of his faults, I, I root for heavily. Like, if I rooted for one character, Dwight's my favorite, followed by my, Michael and then Creed. <laughs> but if you ask me who would I want to be okay the most, it'd probably be Andy. He's an idiot, a lovable idiot, um, who makes terrible decisions. But his terrible decisions aren't really based on ego, they're just terrible. Uh, like, Michael's awful decision, you go, oh, yeah, Michael fucked that up. But Andy, kind of feels like things just happen to him. I mean, the anger management thing is him, but um, the Angela thing, that's not his, not his fault. He pushed her into it, like, pushed her... Um, for marriage and a relationship and such. But uh, it blung up his face. Not his fault. Neither is the Aaron thing. It's just rough. I'm glad this worked out. And I would like for this Aaron thing to wrap up relatively quickly. I get it. There's no more Pam and Jim, so we gotta do the will they won't they Vandy and Aaron. I, I mean, yeah, Vandy and Aaron. I get it. However, it's painful to watch. Like, oh, I feel so bad. Aaron, <laughs> is she the dumbest character on the show now? I know Kevin is up there. He'd probably be my number one. And then, uh, you know, Michael's always an idiot. Aaron feels 
That um that that disposable camera thing from last episode. It's like oh oh she's not cute and kind of ditzy. She's like an idiot. Uh, this is a great episode. I, I had a blast. I um, I'm even invested in Dwight and Angela. I'm rooting for that too. I think I just am. Why? I couldn't tell you. I just am. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. 